ambush. Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give them an inch. your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Damn it! Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another... Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. I tried. Stop. Commander? Chief? Captain? Chief. What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They are operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual lock, we might fry those little guys. Then we'll get them out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle, meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? None, sir. Well, looks like I'm going. Captain, I must insist. You insist? You know what, Mr. Spock? A change of scenery might do you some good. Captain? You come with me. Your shuttle's ready, Captain. But do you think it's wise to go yourself? I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this. Don't worry, Scotty. We'll be fine. Always makes me nervous when he says that. Mr. Scott, is there no way to transport survivors off that vessel? I like to think that nothing is impossible, Commander. But with that much interference out there, I wouldn't recommend it. Stupid place to pack a space station, if you ask me. It's 
Spock gets suited up. Enterprise shuttle, confirming approach at 5 by 6. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. The normal space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sula, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. Aye, Captain. Officer, where is the captain of this station? This way. You must hurry. Damn it! Is this the fun you were afraid you were going to miss? Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. Just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. Captain, I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Your point. With fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I question putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spock, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir. The door is locked. Can't unlock this door from here. The Spock, try to hack that console.
like you need a hand. Sir, we need to disable that laser arm. and the failure of this station are most assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. Spock. Sound good. Captain, I would not advise stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock. Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise, we have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Will the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain, I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? Try to live long and prosper. Engage mag boots now, sir. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go now. Stay in cover until it regenerates. It's getting hot out here. I am uncertain. 
how much more exposure our suits can handle. Whose idea was this anyway? I believe it was yours, sir. Right. Slow down the ring long enough, I can shoot. Captain, now would be a good time to shoot the locking mechanism. Success, Captain. We must repeat the maneuver for the remaining rings. Split up if this is going to work. I've stopped the ring. Spock, shoot the lock. One more ring to go. This place is falling apart! Let's find that stranded crew. Great, no cover. I believe we may be able to open those vents. Perhaps our phasers will work. Worth a shot.
is still alive. Quick, let's get him inside. Captain, life support is now at 4% and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, uh, Captain. I don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, Captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tomorrow? Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tomorrow, in what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. What's going on down there, Captain? That was a wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, after you. So, how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates? I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. I've got manual lock, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Prepare to energize. Thank you. Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. <sighs> Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true.
Bach, as you know. After the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Ahura Hail New Vulcan. Hi, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the reap is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spock, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios all machine. All right, all right, all right. Great. Now there's two of you guys drive me nuts. Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott. I've pitched some wee modifications on it just like you asked. I've been working on some other options too. I've got phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades, then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. Energize. Any further out and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. Kind of quiet around here. Is that normal tomorrow? Negative, Captain. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. Let's see just how strong their security is.
Captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Yes, I helped to build and design... Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind... Tamar, we may need your technical assistance should things get... Unfriendly? Unpredictable. But my father... When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. I wasn't right in the head. I understand that our lives were at risk, but we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed. We both need to use stun from this point on. I think he's been poisoned. Scans show numerous toxins in the adrenal glands and bloodstream. Thanks for the shield boost, Spock! Another disturbed individual. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Is someone there? This door is locked tight. We need a code. A mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. 
Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. So, the usual. Captain, I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. Thanks for the boost! Let's find this Ciroc guy and get the hell out of here. No time to waste. Got your shields back up, Spock! Quickly, come in. Osa Vensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Timar? I am here, Father. Jamal, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. Why would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. Approaching a disabled door. We'll force it open. Your success is unlikely. The structure of this door is designed for containment. It may be possible to restore power using a spare power cell. I will mark the location of the power cells on your tricorders. Back at maximum spot. Quietly and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Help! 
Down. Don't let them see you. I am being forced to hurt you. Keep hiding. Your survival depends on it. I am being forced to hurt you. is waning. Hang on, I'm coming to help! Assist you. I have lost 
I owe you one. Captain, let me help you. My body is no longer mine to control. Please stop! Save yourself now. I have lost all control. Stop me before I harm you. I'm down, Commander. Help! My health is compromised. If we move quietly and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. See you. Where am I going? No! Help me, please. Thanks for the shield assist. Find that guy and take him out before he notices? Most certainly, our Starfleet. Dr. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown. We'll continue to investigate. Bones? You're breaking up. I can't hear you. We're deep underground. Lost them. It appears we are now completely on our own. The amount of infected we have encountered is alarming.
Spock, over here. An access hatch. The coroner attempting to steal the device. You must hurry. The same toxin we found in the fallen Vulcans, but they do not appear to be infected. They must be the host. You think? I will always be grateful for the assistance Commodore Daniels has shown the Vulcan people. 
But recently, Thanks for the shield boost, priorities Spock. have become troubling. He remains steadfast in his support Fix your of shield, Helios Spock. device, but he increasingly appears to show more interest in the possible side effects of the device rather than its primary function. There is some evidence to show that the device, once fully operational, Radiation could have unforeseen repercussions. Step forward for the catastrophic nature of this event is obvious, and yet Daniel seems oblivious to the dangers. He sees the threat as more of a an opportunity to be seized rather than a disaster to be avoided. Captain, the Helios device. He's got the device. We must not let him escape. In the Helios device. Sirach? He does not appear to be answering, Captain. Shit! We gotta get that device back. Tamar, do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears that they are taking it towards the surface. <sighs> we'll never catch them. Captain, if I restore power to the turbo lift, you may be able to intercept them. Do it. You may proceed to the turbo lift. Enterprise, come in. Scotty, check off. Respond. You will have a difficult time communicating with your crew, Captain. When the Helios device is out of its containment cell, it causes a great deal of interference. Ah, perfect. Looks like it's just you and me, Spock. That seems to be the usual course.
believe that water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Seems simple enough. Indeed. Is he? We'll get him back. No, the Helios machine must be your top priority. Sirak would not have us save him, only to put the entire galaxy in danger. Tomorrow, what's the status of these files? They've nearly reached the surface. Damn it, we need to move faster. Shields are back online, Commander. another unpowered door. Look around. Can you see any power cells? Where are we going to find another power cell? Perhaps we can retrieve a power cell from a functional socket. <laughs> Captain, I think I see a power cell in that laboratory. Spock. open let's get moving
Bring your shields back up, Spock! the nearest medical facility. There is a medical facility nearby. I will mark it on your tricorder. Uh, uh. Think you could pick up the pace, Spock?
easy, Spock. The sooner we get you to the med bay, the sooner we can heal that leg. You should hurry. I'm detecting more Gorn approaching your location. Uh, there's a gurney over there. More creatures are approaching your position. Captain, I will not be able to repair your leg and hold off these creatures at the same time. Just fix my leg, Spock. I'll hold them off. Thanks! Uh, you're enjoying this, aren't you? I assure you that I am not. This may... Ah, damn it! ...hurt. No. You should now be able to stand. Good as new. Let's get out of here. Captain, we must find a way outside. I am on my way to your location. It is too dangerous. Stay where you are. Is that understood? Tamar! I would assume that she has disobeyed your request, Captain. Not surprised. She is Vulcan. comes another. Thanks for the shield boost, Spock. Let's get this door open. This way. These Gorn have completely infested our colony. Shields are back online. Prepare torpedoes, fire on my mark. Watch it, Captain, but I can't see a thing down there. I'm gonna need a little help. Then we'll paint you a target. Aye, sir. Mr. Scott, need I remind you that the situation is critical. Time is of the essence. Well, can you move back then? 
Not so much. I don't know what you two are doing down there, but my job involves very complex formulas and precise calculations. Scotty, we're pinned in. Do it now. Aye, aye, Captain. There's too much interference. I can't get a lock on you. Then we need a bigger gun. Scotty, prepare torpedoes. Fire on my mark. Love you, Captain, but I can't see a thing down there. I'm gonna need a little help. Then we'll paint you a target. Aye, sir. Mr. Scott, need I remind you that the situation is critical. Time is of the essence. Fire now! Thanks for the shield boost, Spock. Stay alert, sir. Full power, Mr. Sulu. We need to disable that ship. Aye, sir. Captain, the enemy ships are almost in range. Lieutenant Uhura, open hailing frequencies. No response, sir. I don't feel like talking anyway. Sulu, check off. Prepare to engage hostiles. Aye, aye. Yes, sir. Captain, sensors indicate a Vulcan life sign on the larger enemy ship. It is Sirac. Captain, I would advise a more cautious approach. Noted. Enemy fighters within range, Captain. Captain, enemy ships changing course. They're heading towards us. Phaser banks fully charged, Captain. Ready when you are. Hold weapons fire only on my mark. Fighters approaching in three, two, one. Fire! That damn ship is out there taking shots at us. I recommend focusing all weapon fire on its vital points, Captain. Dramatic increase in enemy counts. Then let's get this over with. Indeed.
They appear to be engaging in some kind of suicide mission. Scotty, damage report. Assessing damage, but at first peak, she seems to be holding together, sir. But I don't know how much more of this she can take. Jeez, oh, you bastard! Soon, check off, make sure none of them get through.